Well met lords and ladies, Jake Hoodbrider speaking in a warm, warm welcome to this week's Walking Wednesday. I'm recording this with no one in particular, no one that I would ever recognise from childhood or anything that decided to stay behind while I do this. Uh, yeah, they just happened to pick um, a random spot. You know, here we are, we actually um, have been to ourselves in Paris and we've, um, you know, we've picked a nice scenic route over here with lots of, uh, lots of uh, bits of park, you know, just on both sides, a large stretch of land where people gather in masses. Oh, and of course, did I not mention the Eiffel Tower? Yep, that's a thing. So uh, <laughs> that's what we're walking towards right now. So uh, yes, if people don't actually know, um, in like nine years ago, so yeah, approximately, I guess when the channel started, it's fitting, I was talking about nine years and stuff all this time because of the anniversary and everything. But around nine years ago, I actually was on a school trip for three days to Paris. And it was the last time that I was in the city. And we basically saw everything except this. Well, I mean, we saw it, but it was from a distance. It wasn't quite the same. So, uh, so yeah. I'm just now realizing that the road to cross to get to it is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. So this is going to be something more like an Eiffel Tower quest, I think. Like, look at that. Look at that there. Yeah. Um, I suppose I'll tell you in the meantime what's been going on. Uh, we have, um, like, obviously we've got, we, obviously the, the main thing is that we've been preparing to uh, come here. And uh, if you see that I look a little bit tired, it's because I am. Good lord, it's uh, I woke up earlier than usual to go through flight details because the day before I was on call after call after call either arranging stuff with actually the very same group I've just left behind there um, but also um, but also some other people if you know like for Pop Goes Arcade or for um, like actually just someone needing to speak to me or it was actually the uh, Airbnb host these weren't in order, by the way. It was actually the host first, then then there was a whole, yeah. Distinctive order. But it was, I didn't even get time to go and have food at that point. And then, after that, the day after that, it was all seemed to be fine. I was like, okay, I'll get up a little bit earlier, arrange some of this stuff. Nope, turns out that my, uh, my credit card, or my debit card, I should say, has actually uh, shut down and cannot be used for anything. So yeah, all of this amazing Paris paraphernalia, which is of course going to be used as proof that, um, that you know, one was here in future years. But guess what? I'm ahead of the game because you know what? I can do this. The fact that I'm standing next to it means that I was here. And I have this recorded for posterity. So I require not your material possessions of monetary drain thank you a uh, very much anyway so this is uh so as i was saying the second day um it, it was um it was all about basically um yeah signing out <clears throat> just talking about all the details then like that the card didn't work and uh so i was there trying to um trying to be like okay well i was gonna plan to have a nap after this you know, so I'd have a little bit more energy and like get some food later on and just, you know, be a lot calmer. But instead, fate decided to, to curse me with a longer than usual waiting time for the bank that I use. And uh, namely, four hours. They told me it was one hour at first and they kept me on hold um, for, for two. Then, randomly, when I got through to somebody, it was the wrong department. It was the fraud department they needed, but it wasn't the wrong. It was the wrong fraud department. Somehow, I I, I, uh, I don't know. Um, and uh, what was I going to say now? Um, yeah, it was. Uh, sorry, I keep, I keep I keep looking at this tower. That's. It's distracting me. I know that you can't see it because I'm filming towards myself. Um, I would point it more at the actual tower itself, but then, you know, the point is I don't want to, I don't want to walk backwards. I'm not like, I'm, as much as I, 
like to imitate Mater in my younger years. I know that uh, with all these people around, you know, the whole rear view mirrors excuse is not going to go as well as I would think it would. So yeah, with that in mind, I was there. Then they redirected me again to the actual next person. And after another hour, uh, I, was, uh, the, I was on the, with the right person and then the call just dropped. That actually happened one time when I was on hold too, so I had to start the whole process again. Then the, finally a fourth person actually did resolve it for me. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a thing that happened and I hate it. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I didn't get, and again, afterwards I had to do at night so I had my I had my dinner and such to get through and then basically one hour of sleep before getting up and going at it again off on the plane in which I did sleep but it felt like 20 minutes rather than an hour and 20 minutes or 20 seconds so like as soon as I drift off I was like oh wait a minute we're landing now what the heck happened to all that time I haven't bought a new book in the airport itself to go cope with all the waiting time, but then when the actual event happened, it was super short. Much like it seems I'm gonna to have to cut this event short because my, even though you can't see it from all the photos that are taken from basically like all of that distance away, like back where I first started, people like take pictures of this giant, giant, giant device. Not device. Um, but what you don't realize is that you eventually end up here. I knew that I knew there was like an actual part where you had to pay to go inside and everything. I didn't realize it was just like the whole area being sealed off. Because yeah, I mean, I do really think it's quite ingenious though. They've used the actual Eiffel Tower as the event waiting space for the Eiffel Tower. I mean, that is, uh, that is quite something. But yeah, as is this, let me just try and uh, get a good angle with the whole thing in it. There we go. There we go. Hello. Hello down there. You can see the whole... Oh, no, no, you can't anymore. You can't anymore. There it is. There it is. And it's gone again. I'm trying... <laughs> somebody just go hello in the background when I was doing that? Whoever... Whoever did that, I didn't get you on camera. Where were you? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Might have been somebody in French just being like, oh, you know, weird English boy said hello constantly. I might as well do it myself. I don't know. Would not be the first time that that has happened to me. But yeah. Okay. Better angle. You normally only get the angle from that from that path over there where I was before. Uh, also, wow! Look at this. Hold on. First of all, dancing in the Eiffel Towers. I mean, not dancing ones, but like the flashing lights. Because there's lights on at night. But also, if you can see there, Dorkifel <laughs> on yeah, 50 meters, 50 whole meters away. And that is, uh, that is where you have to walk 50 meters to get to a structure that you can always see here. The second largest, well, sorry, it was the first largest building in the world for some time. Then it became the second. And now I'm not sure if it's the third. It might be, I don't really know. So there you go. Oh, we were actually waiting to find out like how long to wait for the tickets and stuff. Um, okay, well there you go, it says it in English as well. Wait on to buy tickets, one hour. So I guess now we know that we have uh, one hour to wait before getting in to a place that has virtually no one here, yeah. I mean, I mean, I suppose this is a, a good enough pilgrimage on its own, quite frankly. We're not entirely sure, any of us, if we're going to go in or not. 
I do love how like there's like one steel. You can't really see it in this framing, but like the lighting somewhere. There's like a steel frame that comes down there. I think, you know what? I think the Eiffel Tower actually has like um, more secrets uh, in the, you know, hidden in plain sight. Maybe it's kind of like the, uh, the Mona Lisa in that regard. And actually, that's something that I was, um, I was taught when I saw a copy of the Mona Lisa. Um, was like all the different lighting details and all the different secrets that Da Vinci put inside the painting. Apparently, I don't know. Um, but um, <laughs> oh look, another. I think that's the exit. It's like a whole park. The Eiffel Park at this point. I don't know. Hello, it's me, soldier. I'm here to sell you some stuff for the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems like very fitting, uh, very fitting attire for that voice. But yeah, as I was saying, it's a good pilgrimage because yeah, it's um. Sorry, I'm navigating people. Uh, here we go. Because I went through all of that hardship, and then this is basically the first proper site we've seen. Because we were, we had we had an issue like getting getting like you know around different places and stuff, and uh, and like you know coordinating where we're going to meet up. Even though I went to the right place, and then they moved and they came back. I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, we had um, we had our times. We had our weirdness. Uh, but yeah, um, and here we are. You know, they're off chatting among themselves, probably laughing at me for the fact that I haven't got a proper resting time, considering that I'm the one who slept the least, and, uh, and decided to do this. Well, there you go, at least I forgot that I didn't have a stream today, so I don't have to worry about that later because we have other plans. Because again, we started off late in the day due to all the, uh, all the issues. I like the fact that I was able to take it easy there. And actually, uh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, it's weird. Like, now it's costing an illusion because those clouds are being reflected from above me and now back down here. It's like, it's like the Eiffel Tower is so domineering that you actually, um, that you actually get, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, that you actually, get, it actually, it actually extends past the clouds. You can probably create a, a great fictional idea for that, you know, a building so large and so sturdy that even the clouds that before rain the skies are nothing, are but, are but particles in its might. Something like that. I think we've yet to build, to build a building as regular normal humans that defies the, uh, the clouds. Unless you happen to be in the Tower of Babel, in which case, fair enough. Um, that would that would be an example, I would assume, considering that the whole point was that God had to climb higher and higher and higher because it was getting so high. And actually, I was just told the story by um, by one of my friends back there about how it was supposed to be for the 1880 expedition for um, for Barcelona, but Barcelona rejected it. So Gustavi Fer just like bought, just built it here. Now it's simply more than the Sagrada Familia, which isn't even finished yet. I guess there's some irony to that if you think about the Tower of Babel and how that's meant to be. It broke down because of people of the birth of new languages because they couldn't communicate with each other anymore. And so they were physically weren't able to work together as much. But, you know, here we are. You know, basically 1,800 or so, well, actually plus, have on the Old Testament was years later. <clears throat> and someone does it even after being rejected by those who speak a different language. 
I think there is, I think there's something to that. I really do. I'm trying to all this merchandise as well, but I'm not really showing it properly because it's all the same. I don't know. We have a second entrance, that's good too. Uh, I don't know. I think that's probably, that's probably good. Incidentally, whatever you do, please don't take a shot every time I said the Eiffel Tower in this video. Or, you know, the words Eiffel and Tower separately because you, you'll, well, if you did that already, you're already dead. You've already died from alcohol poisoning or you're getting a stomach pumped as you see this. And uh, yeah, that's not one pilgrimage that, that's one pilgrimage I think that we can, uh, we can skip for the building that I have mentioned too many times by name. I'm going to, my voice is running out again because, uh, yeah, I've had plenty of water and drinks and stuff, but it hasn't fully helped because I've been pretty dry the whole time. So yeah, and now that I'm in France, what I want to do is sing Code Lyoko songs. So you can imagine. But okay, maybe we will get to see the top and climb a bunch of stairs like those people off in the distance until it is time to come back down. We did actually have this very thing booked out nine years ago, but I don't think we actually... Um, I'm actually gonna grab some water from that guy later. Um, or maybe not, I don't know, I can't, I can't tell. Depends on his price, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I feel like that's some, uh, that's some actual Good, useful stuff then again so is this you know some selfie sticks and stuff it was helped me with uh trying to film like this you know if one's an eyeful selfie then you know here i am i suppose i don't know whoop de doo something like that there we go someone screenshot that beautiful so yeah that's uh that's a wrap for today. I'm actually going to loop back around again. We'll see how things are going. Pika does have some water himself, so I think I think I'll I'll go there. Oh yeah, it's, it's fitting. I mentioned um, I mentioned him in like one of um, in one of the first episodes of Mighty Do Three, episode four, in fact. Um, and actually, one of the other people that you saw you saw at the beginning of this video. Um, he was my first ever subscriber, and the other one was, I think, one of my was also one of my first subscribers and first commenters. So, yeah, not only are they childhood friends, but they have been they have been lords for longer than anyone else has. And you know what? You gotta appreciate that. Sometimes you gotta take a pilgrimage with some of your oldest chums, and uh, as Laura would say, and uh, just. Just see what you can see. We'll have lots of adventures. Explore backpack with me. And if you get that, that means you're an OG. If not, then I guess you shall never be. <laughs> I don't know. That was uh, kind of a, a round with the idea. I'm too far away to get that water now. I'm just gonna go circle around. What's, what's one more long stretch before I get back and rest my legs again? from not carrying a rucksack with all of my belongings in it, including computers and microphone interfaces and everything. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a fun one. But yeah, I've, uh, I've circled around the whole thing somehow. Someone could personally time how long that took. I suppose you're going to have a fun math problem with that. Jacob Butter circled the Eiffel Tower in so and so, so time, and he didn't stop. He was at a constant velocity, or sort of constant speed, sorry, you know. So what was the speed that he went round? Blah, 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 Yeah. I don't know. I've, uh, I'm done for now. I have that to walk. So please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. And subscribe if you've already. I may do some separate, um, like, short videos. 
of like just you know random holiday moments and stuff but for the most part i've scheduled some videos for you you'll be seeing one tomorrow actually it's a premiere that i won't be around to see most likely um but yeah until i'm back on the 12th actually i will not be doing any more long youtube videos uh or i have once i start uploading them and editing them until such a time so yeah just to let everyone know about that but now for real thank you for watching i guess the uh the eiffel tower special that's what i'm going to call this one now um please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters and subscribe if you like the eiffel tower <laughs> and on that note until next time au revoir <laughs>